the Tech Temple. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Tech Temple. This is Wise Man White. I'm sorry that I've taken so long to get back to you. I know I've been gone like Dave Chappelle, but I promise that I'm back, unlike him. I'm about to give you what you want and give you what you need. So I'm gonna explain a little bit of what I was doing behind the scenes while I was gone. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my Facebook page. Um, I know a lot of times people leave comments on YouTube. I'm gonna thank you for that. But sometimes YouTube doesn't always tell me uh, who comments on what stuff. So for example, I might get a comment Two comments on the same video back to back, but YouTube sometimes only let me uh, notify me that I only have one comment, and I don't want to make anybody feel like I'm not reaching out to them. That's the last thing I want to do because you see some of the bigger reviewers, they have these videos, they be getting thousands of views, and people be asking questions, but they never get back to them. I don't want to do that. I want to build a community. I want to make sure that you guys are feeling included, and I want to make sure I answer each and every one of your questions. So, go to Facebook.com slash the tech temple that's where you'll find my facebook page and just like it and tell your friends tell your family we're going to make this a whole big community i'm going to make sure i answer questions you'll see uh, some stuff i'll post on there that you won't know about on youtube i'm going to post some contest on there that i'm about to get to explain that more in a little bit uh, so that's one thing so facebook.com the tech temple join it uh just hit the like button and so secondly what i've been doing is uh the website, so I have a subscribe subscription service now, not just the newsletters that you get to let you know, hey, I wrote an article. But this is a legit subscription service for me. Um, so if you go into the website and you, the right side will have the uh, subscription box, it'll look like a cell phone, which, you know, the Tech Temple, i got to make a cell phone subscription box. So if you sign up for that, you will get not only uh, the updates for me, but you'll also get, you know, articles that I won't post on my website articles that I won't post on Facebook, that I won't talk about on Google. This is just for you guys for supporting me. These are going to be just for you, tailored for you, and help me get to know you a little more personally. Like, what kind of phone do you have, you know? Are you trying to root it? Are you just trying to learn uh, your first Android phone? You just want to get the basics, like, how do I do this? Ice cream sandwich, you know, it's only available, I think, maybe 10% like of phones. So, I want to make sure you learn how to use your phone and get the most out of it, because it's summertime. And uh, speaking of summertime, it, uh, everybody wants to look right for the summer. They got their nice clothes, they got the sunglasses, you know, they got the fresh haircut, you know, but then you got a raggedy phone. You don't, because you've been dropped it so many times, you know. You don't want to be having that everything looking nice, but then you have a uh, dinged up phone. So what I want to do is give you a case for free, you know. I'm going to give away one case, the Incipio case. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, I've had the red case and the black case. The lightest case you'll ever find and the most sleek, stylish looking case you'll ever find. I'm gonna give one of those away for free. I'm also gonna give away uh, two screen protectors for free. And uh, if you look at any of my videos, you'll see that you can barely tell that I even have a screen protector. So I'm gonna give you that exact brand that I have. Doesn't matter what kind of smartphone you got, I'm gonna try to get you, get you that kind. So go ahead and go to facebook.com slash the tech temple and you'll see a box on there that says uh, winning case. Go ahead and subscribe. Tell your friends it's free. Like, why would you not enter it? <laughs> I'm going to give that away for free. Alrighty, so like I promised my last video, I'm going to show you how to flash Slim ICS. As of this video I'm making right now, the newest version is 3.9. First, I'm going to show you the a little bit longer way how to flash it. And the second way, I'm going to show you the quicker way to flash it. Uh, no computer needed. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's get right to this. I'm going to show you how to flash uh, Slim 3.9. First, I just want to show you off my screen a little bit because I know sometimes people want to see what I'm running. Uh, as you can see right there, I, I got rid of my uh, normal clock and uh, after 4 o'clock, you know, I have the numbers. You just saw it change to 13. So it is an actual working clock. It's not just a uh, font. And if you click it, it takes you to uh, takes me to the, the alarm. I can get the alarm right there. Same thing for the bottom for the date here. If I want it, the date takes me to my calendar. And uh, I got rid of the dock drawer. So I don't have any more docs, because most people like Android, uh, anything, it always comes to the dock. And so you might be wondering, how do I get to my apps, and how do I get to uh, settings and all that? First, you still got the menu button, you know. I want to get to my app drawer, I can still get to my app drawer. It's not a big deal. Um, what's nice about this one is, I, I got the actual uh, tab, so I got all my Google apps right there. I got my widgets right there, I got my games, so I can add any tab that I want to. It's really convenient. I'm going to still send a text message if I want to. Use that right there. I can still call people. 
Uh, but just do that. It gets me to the call log, you know, so I can still do stuff. So it's, everything's still real nice. Um, contacts takes me to my contacts. And uh, got some transparent widgets going on right there. This is a, my calendar. Got my Twitter. And I got my news feed right here. And if I want to take some notes, you know, I just use SpringPad. It takes me to my notes, which is what I use for all that. All right, let's go to uh, Slam 3.9. So first, what you want to do is, uh, I am running version 3.9, if you want to see that. So right there, you can see I'm running, um, right there, I'm running build 3.9, and I am on Android 4.04. .04. So first, what you want to do is go to Slim's website, and so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, go to my browser, and the website is just uh, slimroms.com. Uh, I had it earlier there, so it is optimized for mobile, so that's nice. You don't have to worry about um, a whole bunch of uh, stuff coming up that you don't want, want to worry about. Let me zoom in a little bit, and let me go landscape because it's always easier to see all this stuff on landscape. All right, so what's nice is uh, he's got everything broken down, real, real simple. If this is your first time going to Slim, uh, knowing about it. Um, it tells you the latest version, so I have 3.9, but <laughs> I guess he came up with a new version, which is 4.0. So right now you can see that 4.0 is the newest version. And uh, it always tells you what features it has. This is basic features as opposed to, uh, compared to like CM9 or AOKP or anything like that. So it always uh, tells you that part. And... So now let's say if you want to, um, it tells you what works, so everything works for daily use. It tells you to support devices if you want to see what it supports. So let's say you want to get the uh, latest version. So as soon as you get to the website, click that latest version link. So the latest version is 4.0. I'm not going to upgrade to 4.0 because I'm <laughs> trying to cure my flashing addiction. I already have uh, 3.9 right there and it's doing well for me. So right there, it'll tell you um, device specific what changed, and it'll also tell you uh, on all devices. So we can see the center clock got changed, um, quiet hours, um, the data toggle got fixed, decrease the custom lock screen icon size, um, remove the boot requirement IME, which means uh, when you text, and normally if you had the text and you want to switch your keyboard, you have to go into the settings. Slim it has a little IME keyboard up there, so I'll show you actually. You see that little keyboard icon right there? That means I can tap that and I can just switch to uh, my keyboard. Before, if you wanted to enable that option, you had to restart, but now you don't have to restart anymore. Um, the boot animation, uh, I haven't seen that one, but the one from 3.9 I didn't like, so I went back to the old boot animation. So now you want to download it, you just hit the uh, direct link for 4.0 all right so now pay attention to this because this is where people go wrong all right so the way the slim works is you want to flash the base first so number one the base so base for your device for all these samsung devices base 4.0 base 3.9 base whatever version that you want to get flash that base first so secondly you want to get the essentials for your specific phone now me, I'll, I'll tell you an example why you want to do it. I accidentally uh, flashed the Crespo, I have a Samsung Nexus S 4G. I accidentally flashed the Crespo Essentials, which is the na normal Nexus S. So when I booted it up and I flashed everything, uh, I tried to call, I had no radio, I couldn't do anything. Um, all could, it was kind of just like a Wi-Fi MP3 player device with Android because I didn't have a radio. So make sure you flash the right Essentials. So if I was going to flash 4.0, I would go ahead and get this 4.0 Crespo uh, 4G Essentials. And then, so that's the second thing you want to flash, you want to download. And the third thing you want to get is the G apps, the Slim G apps. So once you got all that, it'll probably download into a folder. Um, let me go back to the home screen and show you that. It'll probably download to the folder in your download folder, which is the default 
folder that all things go when you download uh, an app or uh, download a file I should say from online uh, so download folder what I suggest go in here so find your 4.0 or whatever build you flash do a copy uh, cut and a uh, paste and put it in the on your SD card but do not put it on the folder so here you can see the last time I flashed I have a uh, the base and I have the oh sorry not that one this is the base this is the 3.9 essentials and the G apps and once you do all that you're gonna learn why I told you to do it that way so now we're gonna go to uh, reboot and recovery and if you don't have that option on the, if you're running in ROM you have that option definitely if you don't have that just turn it off normally and reboot into recovery mode so let's let this boot into recovery mode I'm going to zoom in a little bit while this thing is uh, going. So now it's going to boot into recovery mode. You can see the Google logo. All right. So what you want to do is uh, if you're coming from another 4.0 ROM, all you got to do is, uh, this is what I do. I do hit that factory reset button above the blue bar. And I also do the uh, wipe cache partition. And then I also go to advanced and I wipe Dolby Cache. If you are coming from a gingerbread ROM or you're coming from another ROM, probably that's, that's not uh, um, slim. Even yeah, if you're coming from a ROM that's not slim or you're coming from a gingerbread ROM, you're, you're going to want to do a clean flash. So go to thetechtemple.com. I'll post this video and I'll also post the uh, directions on how to do a clean flash if you're coming from another totally different build. Because if you don't do a clean flash, you're going to get some bugs. Alright, so once you did all your flashing, you want to go to uh, install zip from SD card. And then you want to go to um, choose it from SD card. Now, if you put in a folder, look at all this. You're going to have to go through this whole list and find the downloads folder and then flash it. That's why I told you to not put in a folder. If you did what I instructed, Everything's right there at the bottom. It's going to be nice and easy. So, the base 3.9 is which, or 4.0 in this case, is that the newest version? That's what you would flash. The base 3.9. Then you would flash the essentials right there above the blue bar. Then you would flash the G apps above the blue bar. So once you do that, all you gotta do is go back and go back again and a reboot system. So really, it's only three files zoom out. There's three files. The base, which is the same for everything. Let me make sure this zooms again. This. The base, which goes for everything. The essentials, which is for your phone. And the G apps, which is for everything. Because he put Google Apps on because that's the way that uh, Google prefers you do it. So that's it. You should get a boot animation and you should be fine. Um, your boot screen will, uh, it will look a little different because I went back to the boot animation that was for all the ROMs 3.8 and before. I didn't like the 3.9 ROM. I think the 4.0 one changed also again. Uh, so that's why yours won't look the same. But yeah, there you go. You'll be able to uh, customize everything. That's how you flash slim. If you want to know the easier way to do it, um, you don't have to go on the website or anything. The easy way is only for people who already are running slim. And uh, it'll I'll show you the easy way how to do that. And I will also show you things that uh, you probably don't have right now after flashing this. Like you probably don't have face unlock. Um, you probably do not have uh, some of the wallpapers. You might not have um, some of the voice things. There's a few things that you probably don't have. I'm going to show you how to get those extra files also really, really easily. Just go to thetechtemple.com and I'll show you how to do it a lot faster than we did right now. So alright, this is Wise Man White again. Uh, Go ahead, please, facebook.com backslash the tech temple. Like me. Um, I'm on Google Plus also, Twitter. If you got any questions, um, you can leave them on YouTube or on Facebook. I encourage you to Facebook. Go to my contest. I mean, you can win one of these. Like, look how thin this case is. You could win one of these. I will send you one of these for your phone. And the screen protector, it makes it a lot more easy that your screen, your finger can slide across the screen as opposed to not having one. So, thank you again. This is Wise Man White, the tech temple. I will see you guys later. The Tech Temple.